Welcome to Fatboy Critic, where we go watch new movies out of theaters and give you our review, both the good and the bad. I'm Joel Ortiz, and I'll be your fanboy. And I'm Sam McClure, I'll be your critic. This week on Fanboy and Critic, we went to go see Wonder Woman, directed by Patty Jenkins, starring Chris Pine and Gal Gadot. Uh, normally, this is the part we tell you what the movie's about, uh, but you know what Wonder Woman is, or you should. Or you will find out what she's about. All right, Joram. So, there's a lot of positive and negative things about this movie, but what do you think Patty Jenkins and her team and Chris Pine, Gal Gadot, what do you think they did well with this movie? What I think they did well with this movie was, I mean, everything. I mean, I, I feel like the plot was really good. They made no mistakes. I think this movie did what Superman couldn't do, was actually deliver. They did a great job with the cast, the effects, the plot, everything was perfect. I love this movie. I am gonna have to disagree with you on pretty much all of that. The, Let's hear it. the structure and the pacing were really sloppy. The directing was sloppy. It got off to a super slow start. Nothing happened for like 45 minutes. It's all exposition, just boring exposition. And then at the end, they had a bunch of exposition and it had to be bookended so that you know this is still the extended DC universe, so you know Batman still exists. Like, just get to the movie. It's the, the structure and pacing were horrible. The effects were really bad. You could totally tell when they switched it up between Gal Gadot or Stunt Woman and the CGI effects. Uh, Patty Jenkins does not understand slow motion at all. Like, she chose to go into slow motion at the exact opposite times that I wanted slow motion. I would agree there. The slow motion kind of got me confused most of the times during those scenes. But I feel like the structure and the pacing, this no. is what you get with a, a film introducing a new character. No. You're going to have to go through that. No, you don't need that much of it. You don't. They, it was like 45 minutes where nothing happened. There was a total of two fight scenes. And one of them was the most bland, generic blockbuster fight scene ever. <laughs> it was just in an open airfield. Like, there was nothing happening. They were just on a field. Ugh. I am very upset by this movie. Joram, you have one argument for the critics at home, why they need to go see this movie. Critics, go watch this movie because WB and DC finally got it right. This was a movie that completely amazed me. I think this is probably the top for 2017 for me. I came in there with high expectations and it finally delivered. I love this movie. Okay, fanboys. You think you think you want to give DC another chance to pull their shit together, and they just spit in your eye? Like this was really bad movie. Like it's so super generic and just bad. And like the story was everything about it was bad. I don't know. Like I guess we're all supposed to like it because it's the first woman solo superhero movie. And don't get me wrong, I wanted that. I was super excited. I was ready to give WB another chance and DC another chance. I wanted a good solo female superhero movie, but this wasn't it. Am I supposed to just sit here and say like, oh, there's a woman star, so it's awesome. No, like I wanted it to be awesome, but it wasn't. It didn't work. And the villains were like these horrible, like Boris and Natasha from Rocky and Bullwinkle, like <laughs> yeah, just like I'll over admit, the top cartoony. It was ridiculous. The, the villains were pretty weak until the true villain reveals himself. They had a fashion montage in the middle of it. Like that made no sense. It killed 15 minutes of the time and we did not need it. And it was just like her trying on dresses. Oh, look at that. She doesn't understand the society that she's in. That's good for so many jokes. That was kind of funny. For Thor beat you to it. <laughs> like you can't outdo Thor on he doesn't understand our society jokes. Like you just can't. Let's take it away to the, the ratings, I'm guessing. Yeah, let's let's just do the ratings. Let's get this pulled off like a band-aid because you know what I'm gonna rate it. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna rate it. I, I feel like we're finally at opposite ends. Yeah, I mean we've had a, a long string of us being very like similar yeah. ratings, but I I don't. It's so fresh that I'm angry that they ruined like the first female superhero movie, like, I'm angry about that. So I guess my rating is anger. But like, if this wasn't, if this was like the second or third female movie, I'd probably just be like, this is crap. But because it's the first one, I had such high hopes and 
it's maybe gonna kill off the ideas of like future female superhero movies. Like maybe I would love a hot girl movie, but uh, that's probably not gonna happen. It will, because this movie was so good. So I guess my rating is, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Like I said, I came in there with high expectations and it delivered. All right, fat boys, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment below. Tell us what you thought about the movie and our review. Next week, we should be watching... The Mummy. Returns. With what? Tom Cruise, who's possibly even older than the original actor. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I think you might actually be right.